Hi guys, I'm Rob and welcome back to Rob's Model Cars. Now today I've got a brand new model review and this one's for you JDM fans. So in Japan there's a famous tuning company called Top Secret uh, owned by the legendary Smokey Nagata uh, and most of their demo cars are in a gold colour. There's plenty of them on the internet um, and they've done some pretty outlandish uh, Nissan GTR models and also the infamous V12 Toyota Supra. But what I have today is the brand new Ignition R32 Nissan GTR. Now this is made by Ignition Models. Uh, not sure whether I've re reviewed an Ignition model before, maybe I have, but we'll start with the packaging. They just come in these plain cardboard boxes with a bit of Ignition branding on there. If we open that up, uh, the model is inside. We can squeeze this out. Uh, and they basically come in this window style box. Now this is a sealed resin model. Uh, I think Ignition models are the king of all JDM models. They release a ton of standard uh, JDM cars as well as all these tuned versions as well. Um, and they're pretty cool models. Now this one, as I say, it just comes in this window box. It has a fake carbon fibre look base. Uh, there is no clear plexiglass display cover with these models. Um, they just simply uh, pull out and they've got a plastic shell around to protect the model. So uh, we'll open that up so you can have a look at that. They're a bit tricky to get them out of the boxes sometimes. They're such a tight fit. As you can see here. So we'll pull the whole sleeve out and everything. Um, and yeah, this is basically how they come. So they're similar to the, uh, the old auto art models uh, where they have this plastic protective frame uh, to stop any damage to the model. Um, this is easily removed if you want to keep the model on its base, which is just screwed underneath. Um, but yeah, this is the famous gold R32 GTR Skyline by Top Secret. Now first impressions, they've done a great job of this model, so what I'll do, uh, I'll unclip the frame, we'll put this on the turntable uh, and we'll have a closer look at this brand new model from Ignition. Now before we do that, um, Ignition Models is releasing the R33, the R34 and the R35, all from top secret in this gold colour. Now I have ordered all of those models, so uh, if you're interested to see what those models are like also, uh, stay tuned to the channel and as soon as they arrive I'll do a full review of those models as well. But for now we'll get this on the turntable and we'll have a closer look. Okay so here we have the model with the frame uh, removed from the base and uh, I guess we'll start with the base. So as I said it comes on this uh, fake carbon fibre like finish. It's just a plastic base so you can keep it on the base if you want or you can remove it. Uh, and it does have a little name plaque here with the top secret logo uh, and the uh, version of the car, VR32. So uh, that's basically it. As I say, you can get to the screw holes easily enough underneath if you want to remove it from the base. And I usually do with these uh, Nissan models uh, because I need to fit them into my display case. So uh, first impressions of the model, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, the paintwork on it is absolutely superb in this gold metallic colour. Uh, absolutely no flaws or defects in the paint. Um, and yeah, that's usually the way with ignition models. They are built to a pretty good high standard. Um, and yeah, they never really disappoint. Now we'll start with the front of the model. Uh, it does have a black, uh, black gloss lower splitter on the front. Uh, they've done a really good job on the headlights as well on this model, as well as the orange turn signals here. Um, you've got your intercooler in the front as well. Um, there's no photo etch mesh on this car, um, but that doesn't really matter. It's not really what you see on this car anyway. Now it does have some little photo etched uh, bonnet latches on the front there as well. And as you'll notice, it has a full carbon fibre uh, hood as well. And you've got your couple of uh, NACA ducks as well here in the hood. Uh, and you've got your top secret decal down one side of the hood. So that looks really, really good. Um, it's got super clear windows in this model. Now one thing I wanted to mention about the windows is that 
um, on some of the older ignition models, um, they were getting a little bit of bubbling and uh, lifting of the front and rear windows. I had one model like that that uh, suffered that same problem. Um, but I'm happy to report that the, the window material that they use now on the front and rear windows is a lot thicker than the older models. So hopefully that will eliminate the problem of the bubbling and lifting windows on these models. So uh, that's a good thing to see uh, that they've corrected the slight fault there with the material they were using. Only time will tell, of course, um, whether that has fixed the problem, uh, but it looks pretty good at this stage. Now it does have some little windscreen wipers here. These are just moulded plastic but look faithful to the original. Um, you do have some little photo etched. Uh, skyline badge on the side. Uh, mirrors are pretty much standard R32 GTR mirrors uh, and you've got the uh, sort of standard style side skirt as well. Uh, really good application of all the decals on this model as well. It's got lots of decals all with the top secret and the uh, sponsored brands all down the side of the car as well. Uh, back of the model has the standard R32 GTR rear wing, um, but you have these little extra uh, aero parts on the rear here, these little pods, uh, they're finished in gloss black as well, I think that's a top secret part also. Now the back of the car, I think they've done a really really good job on the tail lights, of course you've got your little GTR emblem in the middle. Uh, and just a very small exhaust pipe here. Uh, it does actually have another exhaust pipe on this side here. I'm not sure whether that is supposed to be a side exhaust or a screamer pipe. Uh, usually the screamer pipes are up the front, um, but yeah, not quite sure whether that is a side exhaust or a screamer pipe. Uh, and of course you've got a little rear diffuser underneath here in gloss black as well. Um, so yeah, overall it looks quite good. Uh, you've got a little photo etched tow hook there uh, and it's, it's wearing the top secret number plate as well. So yeah, I think the exterior, I mean th this is such an iconic uh, car, the Nissan R32 GTR uh, and it's just that extra bit tougher uh, coming out of the top secret workshop. Um, as I say, most of their demo cars are in this gold livery. Some of the newer ones were in a white livery uh, and some customer cars were in different coloured liveries. Um, but most of their demo cars have always been in this gold colour. So uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, I definitely don't have anything else in the collection, uh, in my Nissan collection, in this colour of gold. So that's why I thought I would order all the uh, top secret cars in gold. Now they've done a fantastic job on the wheels. So these are the... OZ or Oz Racing multi-spline wheels, um, really really good job on those and of course this one is wearing the Bridgestone Potenza tyres uh, and you do have some little Oz Racing decals on the rims as well. So front and rear really good job there. Uh, the stance is really good on this model, it's slammed down on top of the tyres which is nice to see um, and yeah that's pretty much a Japanese tuner thing. Now they've done a great job on the brake rotors and the brake calipers as well. So you've got a big sort of uh, goldy, coppery coloured brake caliper in there. Uh, great job on the photo etched brake rotors. Um, and they've got gold hats on those brake rotors as well. Uh, so that just ties in with the whole theme of the, the gold and the black. So uh, really good job on the wheels and tyres. Ignition do a great job on wheels and tyres with their models. Uh, and this one's no exception as well. So yeah, overall, that's the exterior of the model. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks fantastic. As I say, the paint is absolutely flawless on this model uh, and really stands out when you have a contrast with a black carbon hood as well uh, and the black wheels too. So a very tough looking Nissan R32 GTR indeed. Now if we turn our attention to the interior, uh, most of it is black, uh, as you can see all the dashboard is black, uh, headliner is black, door trims are black, uh, rear parcel shelf is also black and you can see the uh, standard speaker grills still in the rear, uh, the rear deck lid of the interior. Uh, now it does have a half roll cage, hopefully you can see that through the windows uh, and you've got a couple of crossbars uh, coming through down to the back rear shelf as well. 
Now this one does have the uh, what appears to be the standard GTR uh, seats in the car, but the driver's side has a set of Takata harnesses. Um, now obviously, for those in the know, Takata, such an infamous uh, company in Japan, most of the tuned Japanese cars are all running Takata harnesses. Uh, and they've done a great job on those, including the little uh, latch buckle and uh, clips as well. So really good job on that. Um, the instrumentation on the dashboard is really, really good. Uh, same as the centre console. Um, it's all clear, legible gauges. Uh, and yeah, you've got your gear shifter and handbrake handle in there as well. So hopefully you can see all that detail. Now being as that it's a top secret car, uh, the rear seat has been deleted. So it just has, uh, you can see where the fuel tank is underneath. You can see a couple of the little hoses uh, and there is no rear seat in there. So that has been stripped out. Um, and that's something that's pretty common in Japan with these tuner cars. So uh, really good job with that. Uh, there's a couple of more decals on the rear window as well. But overall, uh, that's pretty much all the detail on this model. As I say, it is a sealed resin model, so no opening parts at all. Um, but if you're a fan of the Nissan Skyline GTR, uh, or you're a fan of Top Secret, the tuning workshop in Japan, uh, you won't be disappointed with this model. Now, I bought this model from Car Lover Diecast in uh, China. Uh, I buy all my ignition models from him. Uh, so go and check out his website. I think it's uh, cldc.store. So that's cldc, short for car lover diecast, dot store. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video to his store. Um, not sure how many of these are left, um, but maybe you want to um, look at the upcoming models uh, of the top secret range. So. Yeah, that's basically going to wrap up today's review of this Ignition 118th scale top secret Nissan R32 GTR. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, why not subscribe? Uh, if you like the video, smash that like button uh, and don't forget you can follow me on social media as well. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram and I also have an eBay store. Uh, all the links to those pages are on the home page of this YouTube channel. And yeah, as I say, I've ordered the, the next three versions of this uh, top secret Skyline GTR. Um, so a couple of those should be uh, available shortly. So as soon as I get those, uh, I'll review them on the channel if you're interested in those ones as well. So yeah, that's it for today's review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed presenting this model to you. I think it's a great model for the JDM fans, as I say. Uh, so many supercar models get produced all the time um, and you know Ignition's one of these companies that really focuses on the all the JDM cars stock and tune so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video stick around we've got plenty of new models coming before the end of the year to review uh, a few more custom build videos as well um, but until next time thanks for watching Rob's model cars